everything, so we got an extra blocker. Now he gets it. Now he gets it. Now he understands the full width and breadth of his defeat. Ooh, my man was gunning for me. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because tonight we're going to Mono Black. Yeah, it's the end of the season, and frankly... Uh, well, it's the end, not the end of the season, but it's getting close to the end of the season. It's almost Duskmore time, and frankly, the darkness is calling. Uh, I want to rank. I want to rip. I want to I wanna rip and tear until it is done. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That's why we're going with the Trexo Discard. Uh, our good friend of the stream and friend of the channel, Traxodactyl, said, Hey, this is my black daily driver. What do you think? I said, I like it, but I'd make some changes. Um, so I've customized the Trexo discard to my liking right here, and I hope you do too. This is going to be a mono black. I would call it an anti-meta. It's a little controlly, but we do have some other, other tricks here. If you're dealing with mono red, if you're dealing with... Um, a lot of other the current meta, this is a great way to get around it and really, really stop people from playing those same old decks and really force them into a pigeonhole here. So uh, I need you to do something before, or me before we get down to this one. Tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. That's just gonna happen. Um, yeah, it, you're just gonna get ripped apart by a werewolf if you don't like the video and subscribe to the channel. You gotta do it. Become a villain today. Join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for a live stream of goodness. We'd love to have you there live and in person on Twitch or hit that bell. You'll be notified when we go live on YouTube. Yeah, either one is great. Check out our Discord community for all the latest news, information, post your decks, post memes. You will even be able to send me decks and maybe I'll run run. Kind of like I do how I run Tr Trex's decks occasionally or some other people's. Uh, and of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are going to be available down below on my aether hub so if you want a copy of this one uh make sure to go down to the aether hub and you will find a copy of this mono black uh just best of black really that that's really what it is just good stuff anti meta so what are we talking about when we talk about this well we're gonna go with some early discard i wouldn't really call it a discard deck because we're not like super relying on it it has enough discard to be useful but it has a lot of other removal and other tricks to do things we really just want to stop people so Two cutdowns, I think, is going to be for our aggro friends right here. You can swap out the removal however you see fit. I'm throwing one go for the throat. Why not? Bitter Triumph, I think three of them, Planeswalkers and Creatures. Um, and we're also going three Virtue Persistence. If that's a lot of kill, if you're like, Jay, that's a lot of kill right there, man. You're killing a lot of stuff. Well, have you seen the meta lately? Have you seen the amount of stuff that people are bringing out here, man? They are absolutely bringing out just non-stop creatures swarms of creatures legions of creatures they're going aggro they're exploding for 10 damage we need to slow things down a little bit man unless we're going aggro we need to slow things down if we're trying to not try to match their heat uh we got to match their light so <clears throat> uh that's the idea right there so there's a lot of removal up front and you want to make sure there's certain decks out there right now guys that if you don't have two or three removal in your opening hand you're basically dead like, Mono Red, if you can't stop Mono Red by, like, turn 2 or turn 3, you're basically dead. So we just want to make sure that we get the cards that we need. Uh, that's what we're going to do. Another way of stopping things is the discard. Um, I'm going to go with some duresses. I like to see the hand. That kind of helps us. If we're doing anti-meta, we can kind of um, lay out our strategy. Now, you could always do more pain. You could always do a different discard, a one-drop discard. Um, you know, uh, Tiny Bones joins up or Hopeless Nightmare or something like that. I want to see everything they got in their hand. Um, uh, I want to see everything and I want to strategize and I want to pick uh, something that they have. So if I want to pick that Sunfall, I want to get something like that. That's what Duress is good for. Bandit's Talent's a great backup for that. Uh, one black and one. They have to discard a card unless they do a land and they have to discard two. So Unless they have two lands in hand, they have to get something good out of there. Then we can also start to rack them. 
uh, one black at the end at the beginning of your opponent's turn. If that player is two or fewer cards, they lose two life. Extremely useful to start racking people. You suppress their card play. If they're played out their hand, they're going to start pinging for two each time. Extremely useful. And at the beginning of your draw step, um, draw an additional card for each opponent who has one or fewer cards in hand. Extremely useful right there. Very, very useful. Good stuff all around. So, um, get that extra card draw is very, as we talked about. We already talked about the removal. I think bitter is fine. We can discard. There is a slight amount of resurrection, not very much. We can discard, but we also have some life gain. So, you know, it's flexible. Go for the throat is fine too. I think this guy right here has been the MVP of this deck. Uh, this, this guy right here, I think people forgot about him. He's lost technology. Okay. This is a very dangerous card in the current meta. One black and one, two, two. If an, a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it. That stops your mono red explosion decks. That stops your mouse explosions. They don't, if they kill it, they don't get the, they don't get the death trigger from Heartfire Hero or the Phyrexian Goblin or whatever. Um, they just get exiled into oblivion. It also really messes up uh, graveyard uh, reanimator decks. Not giving anybody death triggers and denying them the graveyard is super, super on brand, right? Like this is extreme. And he has just been so useful. The fact that he is pumpable as well. He's hard to burn out if you have mana. If they try to hit him with a lightning bolt, you just pump him up. Or even a, or, you know, a shock or a lightning bolt, you pump him up and get, and, and get him out of the way. And the fact that on your turn, he can just grow, he can get bigger, he can hit for really, really hard if people aren't paying attention. Really, really lost technology right here, man. This this is super useful for Misery Shadow. One black and one, two, two, pumpable for one, and exiling all the round. I want you to keep in, keep that one in mind. Liliana the Viliana, you know we love her. Uh, here she is, two black and one, discard a card or sacrifice a creature, either suppressing creatures or suppressing hands. She's all about it either way. Uh, separate all permanent target permanents you controls into two piles then sacrifice a pile that they control so we get to make them make sophie's choice there or liliana's choice rather rarely ever get that ultimate but just having her she can kind of soft lock the board where if they draw a card if they play it and it's a creature i kill the creature if they don't play it uh, i get to discard it or it's a spell and they get to play it out and if it's a land you know whatever she can just constantly have that suppressive fire down on the board for black malicious eclipse very useful for your token swarms. Uh, negative two, negative two. If you're running, ag if they're running aggro or token swarms, uh, all creatures get negative two, negative two until the end of turn. If it would die, it gets exiled again. You deny them that explosion ability right there. Uh, they don't get that ability to just go off. So that's a great one. You can swap that out. That's probably the most swappable out one if you were playing best of three and they're not running tokens or something like that. You can put something else in there. Phyrexian Arena. I'm going to take the risk and get that extra card. The, the, the extra flow of cards and the card superiority that we're going to get, especially if we have ultimate bandits talent, which we get an extra card if we've suppressed them uh, with, uh, uh, you know, discard. If they have nothing, we get an extra one. And then Phyrexian Arena, we get an extra one. We could potentially be drawing th two extra cards a turn, three cards per turn, which is really good, guys. Like, <laughs> I can't tell you that drawing three cards a turn is obviously going to give you a huge advantage over your opponent right there. The one ping mana is kind of negated if you have the shield rid out, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, just be careful. Phyrex, Hostile Investigator, he was just in our investigations deck. He's back because he's really good. Four, three, four drop, one black and two. Whenever somebody discards a card, we get an investigation, which is uh, we get to investigate, which is, of course, we create a clue token, which can be sacrificed for two, and we draw a card right there. So all in all, yeah, I don't mind him. Um, you know, he's great. He's a beefy 4-3. He's an ogre rogue detective. Love that. And um, uh, he lets us card draw, and he lets us put suppression down. Sheldred, you either love her or you're a hater. I happen to love her. I think she's wonderful. Um, but, you know, I. what can I say about Sheldred that I haven't already said? I love this card, and I love her personally. Two black and two four five. Phyrexian Praetor, Death Touch. Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Whenever your opponent draws a card, they lose two life. The suppression effect on this is crazy. Again, if they're trying to card draw, they're going to get hurt. If we're drawing, we get better. Phyrexian Arena, great card combination with it. Hostile Investigator, draw for that extra clue, great card combination. Bandit's Talent, extra card draw, great card combination right there. Um, 
we also have really good synergy with Bandit's Talent because if they have no cards in hand, they're going to lose two at the beginning of their upkeep. And then when they're going to draw a card, they're going to lose two. They're potentially losing four per turn with Shieldred and Bandit's Talent unresponded to right there, which is a very, very bad way to go. Uh, it is just going to hurt them repeatedly. Here comes Aklazant's Deepest Betrayal. Yeah, two black and three, four, four flying lifelink bat god. Uh, whenever Aklazant attacks, each opponent discards a card. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. Whenever an opponent discards a land card, create a 1-1 one, one black creature token with flying. When Aklazot dies, return to the battlefield tapped and transformed. He becomes the Temple of the Dead. Um, add one, add one black. Yeah, he's an extra land. Or we can transform him back into his Bat God persona. Uh, if they have one or fewer cards left and only as a sorcery, great for your discard decks. He can usually get transformed back and he comes back to life. So it's really useful right there. It gives you an extra mana at that. So putting out one black creatures, forcing discard and a 4-4 flying lifelink, not bad. I'm not mad at Aklazots for the high end right here. Gix's Command. Yeah, sometimes we need to sweep the board for two or less and force a destruction on somebody else. Uh, force, the, uh, force something... Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the highest power. When you get rid of that big boy, that'll get rid of the big boy. Put two 1-1 one, one counters and target one creature we control. It gains lifelink. That absolutely will uh, switch things around. Throwing that on children and turning in her into a 6-7 um, a six seven lifelink death touch. Um, not a bad idea right there. So Gix's command, something to think of. And a little bit of resurrection. If you threw something away, you can bring it back. So, uh, very, very useful card right there, especially for your token spam or your convokes or something like that. If you get again with the Malicious Eclipse, the, the Gix's Command will take him. I'm throwing in one Cruelty at Gix for the heck of it. Why not? Again, swappable. The high end is kind of swappable. Two black. We can reveal their hand. You choose a card and discard it. It fits thematically. We search our library. We do a Demonic Tutor effect. Put the card in our hand. We lose three life. If we have a lot of life, that's fine. And, of course, we put a creature card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. Um, from a battlefield so we can choose any battlefield that we want and bring it back with the amount of exile we're doing it can be not super useful if we've had misery shadow and we're killing everything and discarding everything and eating the graveyard it can be not super useful so that's why i say just be careful with it we get to read ahead also uh which means that we can select any one of these to start at so we could start at two and go to three or just go right to three um so good flexibility there Virtual Persistence, I already talked about, uh, one black and one. Target creature gets negative three, negative three into the end of turn, and we get two life. Great way to suppress those exploding guys. Those Heartfire's heroes hate that. Uh, we gain life on it and a negative. Then, of course, at the five drop, we get the Virtual Persistence. I'm sorry, the seven drop, two black and five. That is the seven drop. We get to put a creature card from any graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. Three of those for the removal and for the shenanigans at the high end. I'm also going to finish it off with a Vein Ripper at the 6th spot right here. It actually goes right there. This is the 7th spot. This is the 6th spot. One Vein Ripper. Again, the high end is flexible. If you don't want Gixes, if you don't want Cruelty, you can move these around maybe in and out of the sideboard. I like this guy because he's a huge threat on the board. A 6-5 flying vampire assassin flying in ward. Sacrifice a creature whenever a creature dies. Target opponent lose 2 life and you gain 2 life. Not super effective if you have the exile effects on the, on, on the board, but if you have a lot of removal or something like a Gix's Command, and you can really, really pull off the Gix's Command combo with Vayne Ripper, he can be very, very, very cool stuff right there. Very tough ward, too. If they don't have any creatures on the board, they just can't ever get rid of them uh, unless they force sacrifice or board wipe. So that's what we're looking at. 24 lands. As far as the lands go, I mean, there's other lands you can certainly put in here. Um, a lot of people go, Jay, you always do bland lands. You could do, I don't think you want a mudflat village. Um, I, I, you could do a hidden necropolis for the heck of it. If you wanted to throw one, we're not going super fast. So I wouldn't be mad at a hidden necropolis. I wouldn't be mad at a dross pits. If you want to draw another card, you're thinking caves. Yeah, you could do caves. I mean, we're kind of all over the place here. That's the problem. There's not that many Phyrexians. There's not many anything. We have like one or two of each thing. So Caves is not a great choice for this one. You might be locking yourself out of uh, a good thing. Demolition Field's not a bad idea either. Uh, it's low amount of creatures. We're really focusing on discarding, controlling, anti-meta stuff like that. Six instants, seven sorceries, nine enchantments altogether. Um, uh, three Planeswalkers, 24 lands out of 3.3. That's what we're looking at. It's a Trexo discard. It is standard. Uh, it's just a really good anti-meta smasher right here. Really fun deck. Got me up, uh, moving me up plat pretty effectively. 
and uh, I think I'll probably push diamond with this one and then go from there after that. Uh, we'll, we'll start our slow climb. So that's what it is. That's what we're looking at. Um, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Oh, I didn't even talk about the sideboard. Uh, Insatiable Avarice, different, uh, more card draw, um, blot out, long goodbye, more removal. Lord Skitter's not a bad one if you're running into Resurrector and you need to exile things out of the graveyard. Additionally, we can just go for the full exile build. Preacher of the Schism's never a bad one to put in, and another Cruelty of Gex. So any one of these, I mean, if you're going full best of three, you could add like two versions of each one of these and swap in as you feel. So that's for my best of three guys right there. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Let's get into the games. Um, fountain, yeah, fountain, the fountain city or whatever. Those, those are fine too. So let's get into some standard rank. Let's do it, guys. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I hope you like this one. We're back in black, waiting for dusk morn. Uh, I go first. Man, that's not a great opener. Extract the truth occasionally. Okay, so that is actually a good opener for what we can. We can shut down a lot of shit. Our fire hero. Monastery switch here. We're just gonna shut you down. We're gonna shut you down as much as possible. I think next we gotta go with Hostile. I'm a big believer in Herbus Forge needs to go. One man's opinion. Yeah, I mean it's powerful. I don't know if it's like it needs to go powerful. I you know that's why I wish there was more flexibility in alchemy and that they refreshed alchemy more frequently is um there's a couple of cards that need like a tune, and there's a couple of cards that just need a ban. Sunfall just needs a ban. Some other stuff just needs a little bit of a, a piano tune, you know, and that's just my opinion. Black man. Actually, you know what? Fuck you. You're just, we'll, we'll just die. It's a land. No, it's another kill. Okay. Well, Liliana of the Veil followed by a followed by a land would be fine. You could pump this. Yeah, pump it. It'd be fine. That's fine. Bandit's talent. Without Sunfall, it would only be aggro decks. No, there's other ways of dealing with things besides Sunfall. Believe it or not, there's actually a, a, a pretty good, healthy variety of dealing with aggro without Sunfall. Hey, what's up, Vorpal? Very Vorpal. I don't know. Oh, oh, it's gonna be a double Vorpal Knight. Buggy man, 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 That's that's the very nature of the issue right there. Um, they they don't need that. We don't need to be exiled. That's 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 part of the issue. Hey, what's up, V1 Dozer? I need 
strike me. Bend me, shape me any way you want me. You got the power. Turn on the light. Bend me, shape me any way you want me. As long as you love me, it's alright. Our fire hero. Boom. Boom. Hearts on fire. Your desire. Guys. Um. Oh, wait. We'll keep racking up. I'm worried about a lightning bolt here. We really need one of our life gains. Mystery Swift Spear. What is he going on? Directly to me. Boom. Boom. There we go. Shot. Here we go. Going on. Going on the two, both, the one, draw, both your gigs. Boom. Boom. Game. Game. Return a creature card from my graveyard to thy hand. Um, so we're gonna do sacrifice a creature. I don't think we need that just yet. I'm not good at MTG. Can you explain what a negative six Lilian effect does? It takes every permanent that your opponent controls. Hey, what's up, Artemis? It takes every permanent your your uh, opponent controls. Lands, enchantments, creatures, everything. Equipment, literally everything they own on the board. And it divides it into two piles. They get to choose one to keep. The other one goes to hell. I get to pick what goes in each pile. So I could say you either keep all your lands... Or you keep all your creatures. Or I could split it half and half. I could say, you know, I decide the two piles and you give them a damned if you do, damned if you don't choice, basically. Where you say, which one do you want? Which which pile of stuff do you want? Yeah, it's very bad. Um, if you get to it quickly or you get to it with a big board, it can be extremely effective. It can be very dangerous. goes first. Hmm. Bandit. He said, Jawari said, no thank you, man. I do not want to deal with a wreck. My record is three and one turn before they scoop. So Trex, how'd you manage to do that with your with your Golgari combo? Innkeeper Ren. Ops goes first, and I'm a little slow. I do have the sweep. I do have the turn three sweep. I'm going to run it and just see what happens. Tiny bones. Oof. Deep cavern value. I got five mana. Not great. Yeah. Oh, should have kept the fucking sweep. What are you thinking, bro? Should have kept the supermarket sweep. Well, 
Unless he's got another, got another bat. No, he doesn't have another bat. Um, yeah, he's not gonna grab anything. I guess he could bat me again. The bat, the second bat. Now he's gonna go for the throw. Yeah, okay, so I should, probably should have done the sweep. Well, I don't have another move. Yet. Boom! I bet he wants to resurrect Tiny Bones. Yeah, he's gonna cast that, which he should not have done. That don't really understand that, but uh, yeah. Deep cavern fucking value. He gets a million of them. He got three of them. Do another one. Okay. That fucking sucked. Forsaken miner. That fucking sucked a lot. Bandit's talent. Absolute shit opener there. Boom. I mean, three bats. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, man. I just don't. I just don't get to play really at that point. <clears throat> it's it's not giving me this wall of fire easy. Um. Uh, three bats in a row, dude. You know, I. Uh, what can I do, man? I just don't get to play. I had two removals in hand, but he grabbed both of them. Yeah, he just had fucking... He just had swinging nuts. He just had absolute swinging nuts, dude. There's nothing I could do about that. One of them, I could have got away with something, you know? Uh, one of them, I might have been able to make some progress. But two of them, he just grabbed everything that I had. Um, boom. Let's go for Misery Shadow. They don't know what to expect with that. What do you want to say that he's got the discard? Oh, he doesn't have the counterspell. Okay. Let's go in. Oof. Deep chasm, deep, 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 deep chasm value. Yeah, deep chasm value is really gonna. We're gonna, we're gonna try to hit him hard. Yeah, for sure. Let's do shield with the apocalypse. Oof. Oof. Temporary lockdown might be a problem, but I don't think he'll go for that. He thinks he's going to try to build a simulacrum. Who's he gonna grab? Monster hit there. Sacrifice is higher to gain a life link.
it's the scry. We need a removal. That's all we need is one, well, a little bit more than one removal. I don't have any artifact crackers in black, which is a problem. Man, the amount of control, it's all control out here, bros. Like, it's, it's literally all fucking control all the time. Use your net. Yeah, bro, like, it's seriously, I might have to run green. I might have to run the anti-control green or, or gruel because, uh, this shit is wild. It's literally just fucking control and reanimator and reanimator control. Alright, he's just gonna waste my time here. I guess. I guess he feels like that's appropriate. Just to waste my time. We got some blended... Oh yeah, I'm super excited about the Black Enchantment removal. That's gonna be super good. Um... That's... Listen, it kills creatures. It's versatile. It's not even just an artifact cracker. Or an enchantment cracker. It kills, um, it kills creatures and enchantments for two life loss, bro. Easy, easy, man. You telling me that I don't have to worry about? I can stock that, and I don't have to worry about temporary lockdown again, man. Come on, man. Easy, easy, easy grab. Add attracts a reanimator, play a reanimate, attracts it, then use founding of the third pass to recast bitter triumph to kill my 10 power dribnod when I had Ragnos joins up on the board. Yeah, they do that. They do that silly thing sometimes. I had, I've had people, I mean, you saw it. That happened the other day with Azorius, man. I don't think it's going to completely replace it. They're still pretty fast and is, I can't remember if that's an enchantment, if that's a sorcery or an instant. If it's an instant, it's definitely a two. It's a two stock of. Um, if it's an instant, we're we're riding with two. You have to understand, Duskmorn absolutely crapped out enchantments like crazy on people. Like it really, really pushed out enchantments very hard. It's an instant, so yeah, definitely. It's definitely going to replace some two drop. Uh, it's definitely going to replace some two drop because. The flexibility of kill and a target enchantment or a creature in Duskmorn, where you have things like Leyline of fucking explode your face, it is uh, it is unbelievably useful. Like it is ridiculously OP useful. Um, because there's just there there are enchantments that will completely wreck the game for uh, for you. You know, there there's enchantments that will. Just completely and utterly um, devastate. Um, and they need to go. They'll they'll absolutely uh, they'll kill they'll kill everything that we have. I'm gonna bring in the schoon. Schoon man. This guy really wanted a schoon man. He was in his schoon cave. He was all ready to go, bros. He was in the schoon cave. He was ready to start schooning. Um, put you down. Boom. 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 
He was like, oh, just let me scoon, bro. Oh, I just need to scoon. Oh, my man absolutely fucked me up, dude. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. I used all my removals too quick, didn't I, huh? Well, with artifacts. What's with the artifact decks? Oh, my dude fucked me up. Unless I pull a... Right now, unless I pull a... a whatchamacallit? A, uh... Well, hold on. Might have something here. If he pulls a removal, we're gonna be fucked, but... He pulled a he pulled a land. Okay, so gonna draw. Boom. Uh, we're gonna do this. Draw. Talent, gain of life. Okay. But the land destruction is just there if you actually punish having the audacity to log into Magic the Gathering today. Yeah, that sounds pretty terrible, man. Land destruction is no joke. Land destruction is a very, a very terrible and powerful thing to do to people. I think we gotta block it, boys. He's gonna he's gonna discover three. Damn it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Cards. What does he got? Investigator. Put down. Valley of the Shadow of Death. He's gonna go in for two. I turn. Temple of the Dog. Blair, near, 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 near. What's he doing, bro? What's 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 bro doing? Discard. Come on, man. Got something. You heard something there. Okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna go full defense here. Total defense, as they call it. Draws a card. What's he got? Archicapelago. Okay. He's gonna hurt himself to do that. Draw an extra card. It's a misery's talent, it's a misery shadow. Card. It's an Aklazots. All right, we're gonna show him what's. We're gonna show him who's boss here. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna show him who's boss here. Oh. Gain that life. Drop you again. Yes. Keep that one, so we got an extra blocker. Okay. Now he gets it. Now he gets it. Now he understands the full width and breadth of his defeat. Ooh, my man was gunning for me, dude. That wall of fire was not going to go nowhere easy, bro. 
That wall of fire, he was going to fight tooth and nail for that wall of fire right there. Absolutely outplayed, though. Um, damn, okay. Ooh. Well, if anything makes you say skibbity gat, it was that one. Damn, that was it. Um, uh, hey, what's up, Jar Werewolf? Sorry, I was locked in. I wasn't reading chat on that one. I was locked the fuck in on that one, bro. Uh, we got to fucking Diamond 2, which is definitely where we wanted to be. Um, ooh, bros. It's a big one. Alright, let's keep going. These are some slow games. I, I, you know, we can grind them out with the best of them. So, you know, I feel like we have some aggro control. I think we have some, uh, I think this is a very effective anti-meta. Um, we have some aggro control. We have some long game control. Uh, but I was flying by the seat of my pants there. Um, geez, Louise, this is not a great... This is not a great hand. Let me... Uh, yeah, that's much better. Um, put a lot of heavy shit right there. Uh, keep six. We will drop the gopher. Keep the bitter. He's probably going to discard me here. I'm going to discard him. No, he's going to vine lash me. Boom. Duress. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's got all creatures. All right. Bandit's talent is up next. Can't even play Scav. Scav the Werewolf, or whatever the fuck it's called. Let's do that. I'm sorry, Gev scores Scaled Scorcher. Gev or Azurdus, King of Old. Nope, he said no thank you. He said, if I have to discard cards, I you can just you can go to hell. I don't think he drew the red either. I think that was the problem. Just give me six desert mana. Six mana for Desert Twister. I don't even know what the fuck Desert... What is Desert Twister? Mercadian Masks. I knew that sounded fucking familiar. Um, holy shit. You guys remember Stone Rain? Good lord. Somebody hit card on um, Stone Rain. That was... That was bad. The, the price of that card is ridiculous. It's it's three mana to destroy a land. Like, Red can get that out turn two. Shane's birthday tweet checks. I can get it. It can not be fun, but it's not a badass kind of removal. It's, it's honestly fun destroying lands. I I am in I'm in the I won't do it category on the land destruction. Um I don't I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Um, I just, I don't find it fun for me. I guess some people like it. Strider Stone does it. I, it's one of those that I'm used to getting my lands destroyed back in the day, but it was less of a deal when the game went slower. It didn't matter as much. Nowadays, when you need like three mana, you need to hit three mana. When you hit three mana, it can be devastating. So, Car Crads be with you, Jay, and down with the mana worms. Kiss, kiss, purr, purr. Thank you so much, Joel Labor, for that nonsensical comment. I duly appreciate it. Oof. We're, we're dead. We're real dead here. He's playing red on the play, and I got no early removals. We couldn't be more dead, ladies and gentlemen. The only thing that's going to save us is a virtue off the top. Um, sinkhole, rancid hole, ice quake. This dude could not be any more fucking aggro if he tried. He's gonna go that. He's gonna do that. Uh, we'll wait to play whatever crazy removal that he's gonna do. Slick shot show off. probably going to pump him so that if he dies he gets an even bigger explosion
EDH pod. Whenever I hear the words EDH pod, it sounds like something from a hard science fiction universe. So you'll hear like, that sounds like you'd be like evacuating a s exploding ship or there'd be a major ship malfunction. And you would hear a computer voice go, please everyone report to EDH pods for proper whatever. That's uh, that's my thoughts on it. An EDH pod sounds vaguely science, science fiction. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with each other and just admit that it sounds science fiction-y. Blazing crescendo for the big hit right here. For the big seven on the head, there you go. Did not draw a single card of removal. Did not draw a single, well I drew one card of removal in this fucking huge removal deck. I couldn't hit one of them. I couldn't hit one fucking uh, extra one. I only hit garbage. I still think the new red lane lane goes in this deck. You don't think so, Serious Birthday Breed? Hi, what's he doing, Ivan Morales? Bienvenido, Ivan, Mora Ivan Morales. Bienvenido a mi stream. Estoy aquí haciendo cosas con el negro. Do, 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 Necesito a practicar mi español más. Cuando, cuando viviste en Florida, yo hablo español mucho más de ahora. Y ahora no puedo hablar bastante bien que um, cada, cada que cuando fue en Florida. Porque fue más latinos allá en Florida. Entonces, habla mucho más. Anyways, I need to practice my Spanish. It's, I'm, I'm really losing it. I really only speak it with my family, so. Who did I surprise the shit out of right there who didn't know that I spoke Spanish and was Latino? I know I got somebody. Somebody went, whoa, what the fuck? I surprised a lot of people. I'm rusty. I know Jar Werewolf. Jar Werewolf. Uh, boom. Hostile. The thing about Mono Red I like is that it's definitely a 2,200. You really gotta know how to pilot a deck. Listen. Here's the thing about Mono Red. This is why I, I might get frustrated with Mono Red, but I'll never shit on you with, with Mono Red. Mono Red is never gonna lie to you. Mono Red is not gonna lie to you. Um, it, 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 it is absolutely never going to lie to you about what it's about. Mono Red says, I'm going to go right up the fucking center as hot as fast as I humanly can. You figure the, you figure the rest out. Go fuck yourself. It is an honest deck. Azorius is not honest. Azorius isn't even good at being dishonest. It goes, ooh, I'm so sneaky. Oh, what could I possibly have? Oh, what do you think, guys? Do you think I possibly have, uh... Do you think I have a whatchamacallit here? I don't know. I could have a sneaky little card. And, um... And I don't like that. It's so dishonest. You know, it's... It, it's just like, ugh. Mono Red says, I just... I'm, I'm, I'm gassed up. I'm going right down the... I'm going right down the center. Okay? Be ready for it. Hablas español mejor que algunos de los chamancos que tienen mamá y papas de México. Sí, es, es un poco extraño, ¿no es cierto? Porque hay personas que de, de tiene de toda la familia de, de, de México y no puedo hablar ni, ni ninguna palabra de español. Es un poquito extraño, en mi opinión. Un poquitito, ¿no es cierto? Raid Roundup. Boom. Boom. Yeah, I, I wanna I, I knew a few people like that. What's funny is uh my girlfriend Snow, her stepdad her whole life was Mexican. She understands a lot of Spanish. She's white though, but she loves Mexican stuff. Like and we go to somewhere, we'll go out on a date somewhere, and they'll be like, oh, 
you're a Mexican guy bringing your girlfriend, your white girlfriend to this, you know, Mexican festival. And uh, I'm like, actually, no, I'm <laughs> I'm Chilean. I have no connection to Mexico and my girlfriend loves Mexican stuff. So that's why we're here to eat elote by the pound, um, which is kind of funny. I see. I sound like your best friend from high school. Who was your best friend from high school? Maybe it was me. Dude's in trouble right now. Dude's in bad trouble. New browser. Remember heart challenge. Boom. Boom. Samuel Morris? No, my name is Jay Villain, so that that doesn't work. I like Gruel Agar more than Mono Red. Yeah, you know, if Mono Red gets boring, that's why I always say go with a Boros. Um, that's why I say go with a Boros, you know. Um, Well, the, my name, I know my name, I say my, write my name, Jay Villain. It's Vian. It's, 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 it's Jay Mort Vian. I have a, my mom, I'm named after my, I think my great grandfather, my grandfather. Um, the, uh, and I have just kind of a, I would guess, Americanized first Jay Mort, and my last name is Vian. So. I know it's pronounced villain whenever I go there we go villain mr. villain and I'm like yeah that's that yeah it's vi it's villain great um, <laughs> so a lot of times I just started adding the n because it's just v i a l v i l l a with an apostrophe over the a you know a, a, not apostrophe but a, a accent so beyond um, uh, that's what it looks like Man, everybody hates Boros right now, man. I can't put up a Boros deck without it flopping. Nobody wants to see that Boros shit, man. I think people are really frustrated. I can gauge how the meta feels, how people are feeling about the meta, by how successful deck videos are. And the two times I put up a Boros video in like the last month, it has done bad. And the reason is people don't want to see that shit. I understand Chris Chaos. <sighs> the rest of them stress him. Boros is exhausting at the moment, yeah. Ooh, I don't really think he should be able to counterspell. I don't feel like that's a good idea for him. I don't feel like that's what he should be about right now. So we're going to go ahead and say yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to wait on the other one here. He's doing dragons. Play brawl? I probably will do a brawl deck. You guys want a brawl deck? I might do one. Let's do that. Boom. And turn. He's going to play that guy. 
Standard puts you on the blood pressure medicine. Yeah, I get that, bro. Your favorite deck right now is a Brawl deck? You never even talked to me about Brawl. Trex, I didn't even know you knew what Brawl was, Trex. Come on. Bra Trex out here acting like, oh, I'm all about Brawl, man. That's, I love that shit. Bro, you ain't even fucking mentioned nothing about Brawl, bro. What's he gonna do? Who's he gonna target? He can reveal four. Who's he gonna target? Me? Pop. 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 Probably gonna flip Turk here. Yeah, flip Turk here. I'll get him. So we do. Oh, we do this. We do Gix's command. I think he might be out of there. Unless he's got some sort of flame sweep. No. He's out of there. Good dragon deck, bro, but uh, you were a little slow on the draw there. You did not get to, you did not get set up to, to do what he needed to do there. Just did not get it. Uh, all right. All right, guys. Well, we got substantially into, well, not substantially, but we made some gains on, on plat two here. Uh, we struggled with the Wall of Fire for a while. We fought with it. We wrestled with it. Uh, but we made some gains. And that's what counts. Um, you know, that's important. Uh, we want to thank Trexodactyl again for coming out with the outline. I've, I've made some some changes, but I think it's, it's, it, is pretty, it is pretty a standard best of black deck, you know. Um, and it does really fit the, the, uh, the anti-meta philosophy because I think with Misery Shadow and I think with a lot of the negatives we're really going against control we're really going against uh, Boros and stuff like that um, Boros less so but token spam and other things like that we do have a lot of tools to deal with a lot of the uglier junkier parts of the meta that we're going to have to just hack through with with a black knife right here so definitely uh, a great build definitely some great ideas from Trex right there and of course, as I always expect from everybody, put your own spin on it. Have fun with it. Um, so we're going to leave that one right there. Yeah, I always like to do an end of the season kind of meta black killer right there. So that's going to be that. I've been Jay Bill and you've been great. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.